globular carcinoma uh, and ductal carcinoma. They have some similarities and they have some differences. Uh, the differences are in the etiology and the pathophysiology that in globular carcinoma there is an invasion of neoplastic cells into the mammary stroma as opposed to as opposed to uh, the in situ case right in which there was no stromal invasion and they also invade the adipose tissue right in a single file pattern all right uh, but in ductal carcinoma, there are nests of tumor cells. They just not invade like a line in a, in a line. They make nests uh, within the glandular tissue, right? This is this is the difference. In the lobular carcinoma, there is a single file pattern, right? But in ductal carcinoma, there are nests of tumor cells within the glandular tissue. The similarities are in the physical diagnosis. Uh, and in the therapy, they're all the same. They all present as a hard, immovable, single dominant lesion with irregular borders. Immovable, right? Immovable, as opposed to fibroadenoma, in which it was a movable mass, right? So in this case, it's an immovable. Also, compared with Faraday's tumor, again, it was a, mo a, a mobile mass. In this case, when there's a carcinoma, globular or ductal there is a hard immovable mass a single mass with irregular borders right you diagnose it uh, on a mammogram and you confirm it on a core biopsy and you treat it with surgery surgery is must after surgery you can follow up with a radiotherapy or a chemotherapy that's up to you but surgery is necessary that is all for lobular and ductal carcinomas that you need to remember Please subscribe to the channel, that will help me a lot, signing off.